Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another 90-91 season North Stars game. We are now up to game 24, and as you can see right here from the standings, we are 11-11-1, second to last in the Norris division right now, but we are uh, several points in front of Detroit, and we're only one point behind both St. Louis and Toronto in second, and um, and only five points behind the Blackhawks. So we're really not doing that poorly right now. So let's get on with it and see who our next game is. New scheduled. Okay, it's going to be Vancouver visiting us, and we will um, play the day to get those other games out of the way and get those done. And now we will get in there and new scheduled. And there it is, manual, and we will go to the game. Vancouver is going to be just computer. And I will put us on computer lines and human decisions, and off we go. And we will, let's see, move this down a little bit. there we go okay so take the face off we've got casey in net kirk mclean in net for vancouver who, who who doesn't remember uh who could forget kirk mclean so lume has the puck the uh, vancouver starts off with it and uh have to see here. All right, well, I've got a choice for somebody for a shot, so I guess we took the puck away. I'm going to say, yeah, Bellows might as well be. So Bellows to take a shot from, it looks like, outside. And he is going to get, he's going to lose it. Or, well, it's a save, and then the, and then Lume picks it back up again. So... They have the puck again, and uh, Neil Broughton has a chance for a shot, and yeah, I'm going to certainly give it to Neil Broughton. That's as good a choice as any, I would say, right now. Um, what happened? So, yeah, they're scrolling through, scrolling through. Oh, I guess we lost the puck. So now Larinov has it for Vancouver. Um, so, all right. Well, now Gagne has an outside shot. I think this might be the first time that I've televised the game against Vancouver. Kirk McLean makes the save. And now Litster has the puck. I, like, barely remember Litster. L Lume? I don't know. I don't... I don't really remember Lume, but I do kind of remember the name Litster. All right, so we have the pop back. I think uh, Glenn just got it. So Brian Glenn has the puck. And select a player for a shot, Bobby Smith. He's as good as any because he had a uh, three or four goal game to open the season for us. And he is going to be from the outside shooting. And that's going to be a save, and their right defenseman's going to pick it up. And so Diddick, yeah, I, I do remember Diddick. Gerald Diddick. And he has the puck for Vancouver at the moment. And we took it away. Bobby Smith took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by McLean, and the right defenseman picks it up. 
so far, Vancouver doesn't have any shots, and we've got four. And so now Diddick has the puck, and Vancouver's trying to mount something here. So Casey's got to be loving this. He hasn't had to face any shots yet. And now we got Mike Craig inside on top of McLean. And that's going to be a rebound. And uh, I guess they got it back, and now Kerbers has it. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe we can take the puck back away, and we can, and Kurt Giles with an outside shot. All these shots are like mandatory outside shots, too, which really kind of stinks. We can't get inside. We don't even have the chance to get inside. So, uh, Dirk has it now. And uh, Robert Dirk. I don't remember Robert Dirk. And now Kron, they're going to have their first in. They're going to have their first shot, and it's an inside shot to boot. So, and that's going to be a save, and the right wing will pick it up for us. And that's um, Gavin right now. So we've got it. Stuart Gavin particularly has it, and so let's see if he can do anything with it and get us, you know, mountain attack. Uh, we, Rob Zettler has the option to intimidate Robert Crown at 85%, so I am going to do that. Well, he's probably a high penalty, so that is a little bit of a risky move, but he did get the puck back, so now Zettler has it for us. And, uh, Let's see. Okay, so select a player for a shot. Gagne, uh, you know what? I'm going to make it prop. I'm going to give it to prop, not Gagne. And no, he lost the puck. And now Sergio Mameso had it. Can't forget Sergio Mameso. And, and I don't. I do remember him. I'm not forgetting him. So they, Vancouver has it, but I guess we uh, took it back, and now Gagne has an outside shot, and I'm going to try to pass with him, see if we can get a better shot. And did it work? I'm waiting, waiting. No, it didn't. We lost the puck. Guess he turned it over on a bad pass. We're still out shooting him 5 1, though. So, and you know, you know how the saying goes, you can't score if you don't shoot. So, um, Bobby Smith has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate. And he failed to penetrate. So, didn't have really great odds of doing it anyway, but I figured it's probably a lot better chance than if he didn't do that. So, there's 12 13 left in the first. And now Bobby Smith has an outside shot, mandatory outside shot. And he will uh, have it saved, and their right wing is going to pick it up. So now Vancouver has control of the puck again. Sandlack has it. And uh, let's see if we can take it away and get back in and get a good shot. And we do. Mike Craig has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with Craig. And he failed to penetrate. So we are not being very successful getting uh, setting ourselves up for better shots here. And uh, Cliff Ronning. Yeah, I remember Cliff Ronning now. Come on. So now, yeah, Vancouver has the puck. Cliff Ronning with it. Let's see if we can take it away. We can. Now Stuart Gavin has it. Um. See what happens. Uh, they took the puck away, and now Gerald Diddick has it for Vancouver. And uh, so let's see. All right, all right. Brian Glenn has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it because he's not good at passing or at moving inside. 
And that's going to be a save by McLean and their right wing. I'll have it off the save. And that's Sergio Mameso. So now the, um, the Canucks have it. And Glenn has an option to intimidate Diddick, and he will at 30%. But he didn't dislodge the puck, so I assume this is an inside shot for Diddick. And that's going to be a save, and our right wing had it. Off the save. That was only the, the second shot that Casey faced in this game. And uh, so now Madonna has it, and he loses it. So now Vancouver has possession of the puck again. And all right, we got an outside shot by Duchesne. It, it appears. And that's going to be a rebound. Hopefully we can pick it up. And no, we can't. So Robert Dirk has it now for Vancouver. With 7.31 left in the first period. Now Stan Smeal has an outside shot. The Stan Smeal. And that's a save by Casey. So let's see. And then Mike Craig picks it up. And now we have possession going back the other way. Hopefully all the way into the Vancouver end. And no, they took it away and penetrated. And now Sandlack has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save. And the left defenseman had it for us. And that's Zettler, Rob Zettler. So let's see what happens off of that. 85% chance of intimidating Robert Nordmark, who I do not remember, but at 85%, I'm certainly going to try to intimidate him and get him off the puck. And, and it worked. And now Kolstad has it for us. And I think this is the first time I've seen Kolstad. So he must have, been, he might, he must be replacing a healthy scratch on the team um, due to game overuse, which I'm sure the computer takes into account. And now Litster for Vancouver has the puck as they try to mount another attack. We're out shooting them two to one though. Eight, uh, um, Eight shots to four, and now Bozak has it for Vancouver. There's 441 left, so uh, the game is moving right along, though. And Madano now takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And let's see if something can happen off of that. I know there's going to be a save, and their center will come away with it, and that's Larinov. So Larinov has the puck for Vancouver. And they're going to try to send it back the other way and get down and score on Casey. But no, Bobby Smith takes the puck away, and now he has it. And we got an outside shot only for, well, they've got an outside shot for Capuano, who used to be the coach of the head coach of the Islanders, I believe. And now Bobby Smith has the puck. And, um,. He will, uh, yeah, he loses it to Peter Nedved. That's the first time Peter Nedved's numbers come up. And I do remember Peter Nedved. And if you're noticing, I have my North Stars uh, garb on, but I also am drinking my coffee out of a an Islander's uh, coffee cup. And as I've explained before, when I was a kid, the Islanders were my favorite team. And Kerbers has an outside shot for Vancouver. And that's going to be a lose to the left defenseman. The, uh, the Islanders, or the um, North Stars were my team when I was a kid. And, um, and now Zettler has it. 
and I uh, and I loved them. But then when they picked up and moved to Dallas, I became an Islanders fan. So, and have been since then. So now we have uh, Chris Dahlquist um, with a chance to intimidate, and I'm going to certainly take that chance. And he doesn't do it, and so Nordmark is inside for an inside shot. And that's going to be a save and the left wing. Now, I got to say, John Casey has really been having quite a season for us, a lot better than he actually did for the actual North Stars, which is a big reason why this North Stars team is at 500 at 11, 11, and 1 right now in, coming into this game. They were a lot worse than that after 20, or after 23 games in, in real life at this point. And now Robert Dirk has the puck for Vancouver. So Vancouver has control. There's going to be a penalty coming up, and it may be offsetting penalties. And that's the end of the first period. And, yes, it was offsetting penalties, so everybody's back out there. I mean, there's a full complement of players for both teams at the face-off to start the second period. And we, uh, the shots that period were 9-6 favoring us. And now we have the puck as well. Colstad has it. Nice picture of Colstad right there. And like I said, he's probably in for a healthy scratch um, due to the uh, overuse that the computer controls. Brian Bellows has a chance for a shot, and I'm certainly going to be happy that he'll be the one to take it, and I'm more than happy to have him take it. So outside shot from Brian Bellows. And that's going to be a save by McLean, and their left wing comes up with it. And that's that's Cortnell. So, uh, yeah, Jeff Cortnell. And that's the first time we've mentioned him. Um, Colstead has the opportunity to intimidate Doug Litster at 35%. I will take that chance. And um, so, yeah, we got it back. So Colstad is, uh, he's showing he wants to play a little more, I suppose. And, but we lose the puck, and so now Vancouver has it back. 1748 mark of the second period. We're out shooting Vancouver 10 to 6, but the score is still 0 0. And that's going to be up. Uh, now Colstad's starting not to earn his paycheck as he just got a penalty. So Vancouver is going to be on a two-minute power play where we are shorthanded and have to do what we can to fend off this penalty. Um, so, yeah, Broughton's got it. And uh, see what happens. Cortnell on the inside for an inside shot. And that's going to be uh, save anybody. And I am going to give it to Perry Barazan. And he that's probably the first time I've seen him. He may be in for a healthy scratch as well. But he's across from an A penalty guy. So I'm going to give it to him. And hopefully they can cause a penalty. And then we can be back evened up again. But that doesn't happen, and Trevor Linden now is inside the dangerous, ever dangerous Trevor Linden. And that's going to be a save by Casey and uh, save defensive center, but we don't have one, so they'll probably keep possession of the puck. And they failed to penetrate, so we're going to probably get the puck back. And we do, and Neil Broughton has it, and there is only a minute. What is it, a minute seven left in the penalty? So we can kill it off just a little longer. Kurt Giles has an outside shot option. He's just going to shoot it. I mean, everything on that table was bad. He couldn't, certainly couldn't pass. And it's going to be a save to any player on their team. 
certainly couldn't pass, and he certainly couldn't get inside. So now Peter Nedved has it, but we're back to even strength, so we killed off the penalty. That's good news. And we have the puck back. Dahlquist has it now. And let's see, 60%? Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. 60% intimidation chance. And Stuart Gavin does have control of the puck, so the intimidation must have worked. We are now only out shooting them 8 to 11. Or, yes, 8, eight to 11. But we, well, they got an outside shot here. But the score is still tied 0-0. Zero, zero. And Bellows has it. And as I usually do, I'm going to, at some point in the second period, I'm going to quick forward. But Dahlquist on the inside. Inside shot for Dahlquist against McLean. And that's going to be a lose to the left wing. As I, was, as I was saying, as I usually do, I'm going to quick play to like about two minutes left in the second period at some point during the period so that we can uh, move the game along a little bit. Especially, you know, and this is a lot like the last game because the last game I played um, that I televised, and you might want to go back and check that out, and I will put an end card for it. Um, an end screen on it um, if you're interested in checking it out. But that game was a lot like this, 0-0 zero, zero for the longest time. And Gagne from inside has a shot, and it's going to be a save by McLean, and he'll give it to any player, and they decide to give it to Litster. So now Litster has it for Vancouver. And, uh, all right, we took it back. So now Jim Johnson has control of the puck for us. I was shooting them 12-9, but uh, still 0-0. Zero, zero. And now Lume has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey, and the left wing picks it up. Casey, again, I mean, he's just been coming up big, a lot bigger than this card would reflect that he should be, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. I mean, we're doing a lot better than the actual team was doing at this time, and Sandlack has it for Vancouver, although at some point you got to believe that that's going to even out, um, because I am playing against the the actual 90-91 team. It's not like I dropped the North Stars into, um, like, a 1950-something league, so... You would have to think it's going to somehow even out. And I think part of that is that, I, if, as I believe happened that year, they picked up um, Prop at some point during the season. They didn't have him all season, but I did have him all season. So that may have something to do with it. Neil Broughton has the option to intimidate Trevor Linden. I, you know, I'm going to say no. It's only 25%. Let him take the shot and see what happens. Hope it doesn't come back to nip me. And uh, no, no, it's going to be a save by Casey, and there's going to be a face-off to his left in the left face-off circle. So, let's see what happens here. Hopefully we can come away with it. And we do, and um, looks like Kurt Giles has it. And uh, I suppose he tried to pass and was intercepted, and now Broughton has to try to intimidate Linden at 25%. Ah, uh, geez, I just let him in. I'm going to say yes, we'll try it. I don't think it's going to be successful, and it wasn't, so Linden is still shooting from the inside. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it for us. Again, I'm playing game 24 of our season. We are presently 11-11-1, and, and Zettler has the puck, 
and we are in a tie game here. 12 shots apiece and 0-0. Zero, zero. And I am going to try to intimidate at 30%. And there's a penalty, and it's probably on us. Oh, it looks like maybe offsetting, though. Yep, offsetting penalties. And now at 843, I am going to move ahead. So let's see here. Game, quick play to two minutes left in the second period. And yes, I'm sure I want to do that. And it's still 0-0, zero, zero, and we're now out shooting them 18-13 and we have the puck with a minute 54 now and then Sandlack takes the puck away so Vancouver has it we didn't miss any goals so that's good I always hate when I move ahead and I miss a goal although a lot of the times when I do miss a goal it's one of ours and I can live with that so anyway Mike Craig has an outside shot on McLean and that's going to be a uh, save by McLean and their center is going to pick it up and that's Peter Nedved. This team was so much better. The players on this team are so much better than the ones on um, on our team, I think. And it's surprising that we're doing this well. So Barazan has an outside shot. And he gets, uh, McLean has a save. And their left defenseman picks it up. So they have it with 43 seconds left time running out here in the second period in a 0-0 game where we're out shooting the Canucks 22-13 and now Jim Johnson has an outside shot. Don't expect much there. He didn't have much on his card. McLean makes the save and now the left defenseman has it and that's the end of the second period and we're going to the third. We are going to the third period and um, in a 0-0 in a, uh, zero, zero tie, out shooting the Canucks 21-13. Really can't say we're out playing them. We were out playing them for a lot of the first period to start out the first period. But I think since then it's been kind of, the gameplay has been kind of evened up. And um, we haven't really been um, out playing them significantly. So... All right, player for a shot, Neil Broughton. Yeah, he's a, he's a good choice. I'll take that. And now Broughton's on the inside, shooting on McLean. This is going to be a good chance for us right here. But it's a save, and their left wing gets it. So they have possession with 18.56 left in a tie game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Where I guess overall we're slightly outplaying them, but we really aren't, at least not lately, certainly. Um, and now we have possession of the puck. Dave Gagne has it. And uh, looks like there was a pass there. Um, Colstead has the option to intimidate Litster at 35%. I'll take that. Try it. And Litster has an inside shot because the intimidation was unsuccessful. That's going to be a save by Casey, and the left defenseman comes up with it. So Colstead has it. And he loses it, and Lidster has an outside shot. Both teams must have pretty good defenses to be forcing all these outside shots. And now you don't often see an inside shot. So um, Brian Glenn has it for us now. We have possession of the puck. So uh, Stan Smeal, Stan Smeal from the outside. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing now has the puck for us, and that's going to be Doug Smale. So 
Smeal gets denied and the puck goes to Smeal. And he has the puck and um, he loses it and now Jeff Cortnell had it. And there's a penalty, it looks like, possibly. And probably on us. Yes, Stuart Gavin. So we have to fight off another penalty, and that's not good. With only 16-12 left in the game, if they were to capitalize on this power play, I think that really would spell the doom for us in this game. So, so Cortnell has it. They come away with it. So let's see if we can... Uh, Get the puck back. I'm going to try to intimidate. Yes. And it doesn't work. So Sandlack is inside shooting on Casey. And that's going to be a save and defensive center, except we don't have a center because we're on a, uh, we're shorthanded. So they're probably going to ha end up with the puck. Again. No, they don't. So we, we still have it. Neil Broughton has it now. So that's an interesting turn of events. But now Trevor Linden gets it, and he's got an inside shot for the Vancouver Canucks. That's a save in the center again, but we don't have a center. So let's see what happens. Uh, somebody penetrated. Cortnell did. So Jeff Cortnell has an inside shot for them. That's going to be X any, and I am going to give it again to Perry Bears, Bear, Bears, Bearsen, and because he's across from an A, and we can uh, hope for a penalty by them. And if not, at least keep the puck away from our side of the uh, ice and our net. But Sandlight gets it. And he has an inside shot. And that is going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it. And this you got to believe this penalty is almost over. And it is. So now Jim Johnson has it. We're back to even strength. We fought off the penalty. Good, good, good. Uh, 13.55 left in the third period. Now we're only out shooting him 22.19, but Gagne has fought his way inside on a good pass and uh, that he received. And that's going to be a, a save by McLean, and they'll give it to anybody they choose, and they choose to give it to Litster. So now Litster has it. Nice steal would be nice right here. And they do, it looks like they lost the puck, and they did. And Gagne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And I don't know, did he get inside? Uh, nope. And so now Capuano has it. Let's hope he was as bad a uh, hockey player as he was a coach. Um, so Bobby Smith now has the puck. And uh, all right, so Doug Smale has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate, even though the odds are against it, and they it didn't work. But you know, we got to try something because nothing is really working here. And now Jeff Cortnell has it for them, and uh. So let's see. And now Linden. That was a beautiful pass. And Linden is inside shooting on Casey. And that's going to be a goalie rating. And it's a save by Casey. Thank God. So it looks like maybe a face off. Yep. Face off in the left circle. And that's the first goalie rating I've seen at all in this game, actually. So. The defenses have been playing quite well. It's, it has been a defensive struggle, 0-0. Zero, zero. 
we're out shooting them 23 20 with 11 38 left in the uh, about half of the third period halfway through the third period almost and now neil broughton has the puck we come away with it off face off And Brian Bellows has a shot. I'm going to give it to him. It's probably just an outside shot. And it is. And that's going to be a save. And the left defenseman comes up with it. So, Kerbers has it. Tom Kerbers. Has the puck for Vancouver. And we have an intimidation chance. I'm going to take it. And it doesn't work. So Larinov has an inside shot on Casey. And that's a save. And the right wing gets it. See, this is another game. If you remember the last game I televised, it was like this, 0-0. Zero, zero. We ended up winning it 1-0, I believe, in OT might have been an OT. Um, but I remember Rick Wamsley for the other team had saved 56 of 57, something like that. And he didn't get a star of the game. And again, here we are. Both goalies really should be a star of the game, no matter what the final outcome is. And there's a save by McLean, and the right wing picks it up. But you go down 948 left in the period, in the third period, and the shots are 25 21, and nobody scored. The goalies have got to be two of the three stars. I don't know. You know, I understand, like, you get a goal and then somebody assisted on it, and you want to give the goal and the assist um, a star. But and that's a rebound. Bobby Smith with the shot. Let's see if we can pick it up. Mm, yes, we can. And Duchesne with a rebound shot. This may be our best shot to our best chance to score all game. And it doesn't happen. It's a save by McLean, and their center will pick it up. So now we're down to, um, you know, Capiawano has the puck, and um, well, we have a 75% intimidation chance with Jim Johnson, 75%. I'm certainly going to take because he might ride him off the puck. And he does. And so now Jim Johnson has control and we have control. And we're going back the other way. And let's see. Brian Bellows has the puck. So we still have control. Haven't really been able to work anything, I guess. And now Neil Broughton has a chance for a shot. Certainly going to give it to him. I mean, I could have picked um, somebody else, but Neil Broughton's as good as anyone. And he is inside. So Neil Broughton with an inside shot on McLean. We really need a goal here. And we're not going to get it. It's a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it. McLean and Casey have both been brick walls throughout this game. It's been something, quite something to see. And there's a penalty, and it's on us again. That's our third penalty of the game. They haven't had any. So it's a wonder that we're still 0 0 with 6.56 left. But we have got to fight off another penalty. And that's going to be difficult. You got to figure there's only six minutes left six plus almost seven and we got to fight for two of those minutes we're going to be shorthanded so our scoring opportunities for the next two minutes should be almost non-existent um yeah i'm going to try to intimidate and can't stop him so sergio mameso from the inside That's going to be a save, and the left wing has it. This has been great. I mean, Casey needs to get a star of this game. And really, you know, so does McLean. I mean, I've said it before, and this is a game like this, the goalies need to get the stars of the game. But anyway, so Duchesne has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it because he can't pass and he can't 
penetrate, so he's just going to take the shot. And that is a save, and their left defenseman now has it. Time is ticking off. There's still a minute 14 left on the penalty, so... Uh, there's going to be Kurt Giles has the um, option to intimidate Capuano, and I'm going to say yes. And we get the puck back, and the penalty's over. So now we're back at full strength, out shooting him 29 22, 447 left, a 0 0 game. Now they have control of the puck, Litster, and uh, so let's see what's going on, Litster still has it, um, now Lume has it, 340 left, Time ticking away here. All right, Jim Johnson has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it. I mean, it's not a high a high uh, opportunity, high chance opportunity, but we got to do what we can here. And that's going to be a save by McLean. Said that seems like a hundred times this game. Their left wing has it, Jeff Cortnell. There's 3.02 left. We're out shooting them 30 to 22. Been really mostly we've kind of been outplaying them. I guess you want to say we've been outplaying them, uh, but not by a lot. And um, I'm going to say yes. I mean, we got to try to do the intimidation every time now. And it didn't work. So Linden has an inside shot, Trevor Linden. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing has it. And that's um, Prop. Brian Prop has it. Let's see if we can get one. Well, I, I don't want to say one last thing, but no, we lost the puck, and now Mameso has it for Vancouver. Let's see if we can take the puck away and get something going out here. Uh, they failed to penetrate, so it looks like we're going to get the puck back. And we are, and Kurt Giles has it. Uh, yeah, we have to try to intimidate. I mean, now we've got to try to intimidate all the time because I can't just let somebody walk in at this point. And there's going to be a penalty, maybe on us. Yep. And now we've got to kill off a penalty for pretty much the rest of the uh, third period. So it's unlikely we're going to score. We just have to make sure they don't score and then try to take this uh, to the five-minute overtime and try to win it there. And we do have, we keep possession of the puck off the faceoff, which is good news, as time slowly ticks off. And Linden with an inside shot. And that's going to be a uh, save to the defensive center, but we again, we don't have one of those if we're shorthanded. But Broughton comes away with it anyway. So. And he lost the puck, and Linden has another inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating plus. That's not good. But it is a save. I guess the split card didn't come up what it needed to be. So select. Oh, no. A goalie penalty. Someone has to serve the goalie penalty. I'm going to make it Dahlquist. So now there's going to be a five on three. Is that right? Yes. 
five on three for 17 seconds and then into the extra period. And this isn't like the, the uh, current day hockey. We don't get a point automatically for taking it to overtime. We have to actually survive overtime to get a point and win it in overtime to obviously to win it. So Mameso with an inside shot, 17 seconds. This may be the last thing that happens in regulation. And that's going to be a save to the center. And that's the end of the third period. And look at that, a five on three to start the third period, but there's only 44 seconds left in the first penalty. So in 44 seconds, it'll be a five on four. But we really are in a, in a tough, tough situation here. They've got it, Tom Curvers has it for Vancouver off the uh, face off. And Trevor Linden has an outside shot, but we are holding it at least to an outside shot. And that is going to be a save to the center. Um, I'm going to give it to Doug Smale because he's across from an A. And so now we, we do have possession of the puck, and now it's a five on four for about 56 more seconds but nordmark has an inside shot as he took the puck away and that's going to be a save and the left wing comes up with it and, and luckily we do have a left wing and that's duchene so um i am going to give this to oh player for a shot yeah i'll give it to smale um and he's just going to take the shot and we'll see what happens and that is going to be a save by mclean and the right wing comes up with it there's three 333 left we are still short-handed 333 left in the overtime period And uh, okay, player for a shot. Um, I am gonna give it to Duchesne, I think. And he's just gonna shoot right now. I'm just happy they're not down in our end shooting at, at Casey. And that's the save, and the right wing for Vancouver comes away with it. Going, moving inside of 253 left. 206 now. Robert Cron with the puck. And now we're back to even strength. But now we only have two minutes to try to score. And it's going to be Gavin inside. Stuart Gavin, he could be the hero. And, he isn't. and there's a save by McLean again. Left wing comes away with it. Courtnell has it for them. There's a minute 31 left in the overtime period. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate. And does it work? There's a penalty, of course. And Litster inside. And that's going to be a uh, save and any player. So maybe there wasn't a penalty. Or was there? Yes, there was. So we have a two-minute penalty, but there isn't even two minutes left in the game. So really, we're, now really all we're trying to do is fight this off and walk home with a with a tie and a point. Courtnell, I guess, has it and he penetrated. So Courtnell with an inside shot. Um, and that's going to be a rebound. 
and Litster takes the rebound shot. And that's going to be a lose to the right wing. And Broughton has it. And there's only a minute 10 left now. So we can just play keep away. We'll walk away with a point. And in a game like this, I'd be happy with that. But Sandlack took the puck away and has an inside shot. And it's going to be a lose to the right defenseman. A save, and then the right defenseman gets it. And that's Giles. So Giles has the puck with 33 seconds left. Lost the puck, I think. And that's it. And we ended up tying the game. So that was quite something. Um, but uh, anyway, very interesting. Very interesting game, I think. Um, but here we go. Remember, that's going to be it for me. But remember to subscribe and send it to anybody that you think might be interested in this and um we will uh we're going to let's see i gotta try to figure out how to get out of this i can never figure out how to get this to close so anyway but um as soon as i do you will um, oh, here we go.